Today we're going to make Nurgle's Garden Mud, but you can use the same technique to make any color texture paint that you want. So what you're going to need to do this is, I'm using spackling, but you can also use just normal white filler. This spackling that I'm using is kind of pink. You're also going to need a tub, the color of paint that you want to use, and some Elmer's glue. And don't forget the star, sand. Just sand. The process itself is dead simple. All you do is take some of your filler and put it into your tub. You're going to want a good amount, as much as you think you're going to need. Then you just add sand. Now this is, you're going to have to guesstimate this. I used about an equal amount of sand and filler. Once you've got that done, you add a little bit of paint. You don't need a ton. It colors it quite well. So go easy on the paint. You don't really want to have to, you, it's harder to take it out than it is to put in. After that, you give it a good stir to see if you like the color. And once you have the color down the way you want it, add a little bit of Elmer's glue and presto, you've got it. You've got your own whatever color you want battle mud. And you apply it to the base just like you would anything else. Once you got your base done up, you've got a big old tub of texture paint to use forever and ever. I'm going to show you this is the Nurgle's Garden Battle Mud base. You can see the fillers dried pretty much rock hard, so it's not coming off. It's every bit as good as the Sterling Battle Mud. Um, it might even be tougher. I don't know. It Hopefully over time it doesn't get brittle. But this is the tub that I showed you the pictures of. That's a, that's quite a bit for a couple of bucks. So this is filler and sand and some green paint. So makes it very nice. Again, put Vaseline around the edges so it doesn't dry out. Do that with all my paints and anything that could possibly dry out. So what I just wanted to do real quick was dry brush it with Castellan Green. Probably highlight it with a little Elysian, Elysian Green and uh, as you notice, I made a little spot on here for kind of a pool. I'm going to put some Nurgle's Rod into that and see if it makes for a good effect. So, anywho, give the green a quick shake. Just a little dab will do. Typical dry brush technique, you know. Get your paint, get your paintbrush all done. Run it across. Yeah, it's starting to get suitably gross. Now, again, you know, this is one of those things where the Sterling Battle Mud and, and the ones that GW make are great. They're absolutely just fine. But sometimes you want a custom color. You want to do, say, a Necron world in, you know, with green earth or even blue or whatever your favorite thing is. You want to do something that isn't quite the standard. You're going you're gonna to run into problems because... Shading up that Sterling Battle Mud and some of the other texture paints that they have other than the white one It's kind of difficult to, to shade them up as as nice as you want. Give this a quick shake. Now this is the uh, lighter of the colors. This is the Elysian Green. So just want a little bit just to pick out the tops. You know, give it that suitable and it knocks it a little bit back towards green. So now I'm going to take a regular paintbrush and some of this Castellan Green. And really the only thing I'm doing here is I just want to take where I'm going to put that little pool so that the black of the base doesn't show through. So that's really all I want to do. I'm just hitting it like that. I just want to have a nice little solid green base for it. That way it doesn't have that, that when the Nurgle's Rot dries, it doesn't have that black showing through. And of course you have Genuine awesome sauce Nurgle's Rot. So if you've played with Nurgle's Rot before you'll know how much fun it is to play with. Um, it's actually a very cool weird color. A lot of, lot of gloss in it. A lot of uh, soupiness if you will. I'm not going for you know like a lake effect here. I just want to have it look like you can kind of see how much is dripping off my paintbrush there. And I just kind of want to have it in there as just a little pool of ickiness because that's what we do we be icky
And I'm not worried about being real neat here, because Nurgle. That right there is the sort of base, sort of Nurgle play garden look. I don't think I'm going to be doing this for the 40k guys, but when I do my Nurgle army for Sigmar, I was really wanting to have that kind of Nurgle's garden look. And again, when you're doing this, the basic mix, where you use the wood filler and sand, I mean, this this mixture's been out on YouTube and everywhere else for years. It's not something I created. Um, you can use any color. I'm just, I was using these craft paints. And if you go to the Hobby Lobby or any craft store anywhere online, you can find any color you want and make your own colored battle mud. As long as you have the filler, the sand, a little bit of Elmer's glue to bind it and give it that kind of, uh, you know, a liquidy texture so that it's not as hard as the uh, filler would be by itself. And it helps it stick. You can make any color you want. So you're not limited to just the browns and the other shades that uh, that Games Workshop does. So you can do this, you know, and you can get an army's worth of this for a couple of bucks. There you go. That's all there is to it. And just before I sign off, I'm going to add a couple of links to this video. One to Wargamer Fritz's his webpage where he has his podcast and his blog. And also to Nick over at Itic Beer where he does a video. He's been in contact with Wargamer Fritz and explained why his channel was shut down by YouTube a couple of months back. Turned out to be a copyright claim from none other than the Paramount Movie Corporation. He had, evidently in 2009, he had a video where the TV was on in the background and a Paramount movie was playing. And so they processed a copyright claim against him. And rather than three strikes and you're out, I guess if you're Paramount, you make one complaint and people get shut down. Great idea to go back and support Fritz. He does a lot of great stuff over the years for the community and to have his channel shut down was a real loss to everybody. I'll link to Nick's video where he explains it much better than I do. The great takeaway from this is don't use anything copyrighted in your YouTube stuff. Make sure you have permission or you created the content. But go check out Nick's video and go check out Fritz's site. He could use the support, I'm sure because it has to be hell. He's done thousands of videos over the years. With that, take care, guys, and see you later.